Hello everybody, Grace Chatting here again with uh, episode 10, our final episode in this mini-series on communication for couples. And um, so what I'm going to talk about here is that no is an answer in communication. Uh, sometimes uh, with couples, they feel like, um, you know, if they're polarized in their views about things, they feel like they have to persuade their partner to their point of view. Sometimes they see it in terms of um, who's right and who's wrong. Now, really, um, a very important point about communication is, and, and it goes beyond communication, and, you know, there's a lot in the main body of the membership site where I talk about uh, the deeper and more deal-breaking aspects of uh, conflict. Um, but, but there's also attitudes and mindsets involved in how we come to be at odds with our partner and so th there's a lot to say about mindsets and one mindset is that somebody's always got to be right and somebody's always got to be wrong and couples can lock horns about who's right and who's wrong actually it's just a point of view there is no right and there is no wrong don't forget people used to believe that the world was flat and for a long time after it was discovered that the world wasn't flat um, and that in fact the world was round, many people still believed that it was flat and they would argue about who was right and who was wrong. And think about it, even today we talk about the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Actually the sun doesn't rise anywhere. The earth revolves around the sun. Um, the sun doesn't move. The earth moves, but the sun doesn't. But we still all say the sun rises in the east and sets in the west because people were always used to saying that. And for centuries, many centuries, we're still saying it. And people would argue about it as well. So people can get locked into arguments about who's right and who's wrong, and they don't understand. It's just a way they've got used to construing the world. Um, and also, it's a mindset. Um, people in different families, what, what is considered right in one family is considered wrong in another family. What's considered right in one culture is considered wrong in another culture. Different cultures, different uh, families, people all have their own views about what's right and what's wrong. It is a total waste of time to argue about who's right and who's wrong. And really, it's something you just want to give it up. But that's not mostly what I wanted to say. If you find that after you've, uh, you know, be practiced listening, you've done the listening check exercise, and you've, you, you've perhaps been a bit more patient and a bit more understanding with each other, and there's something that you still don't agree on, well, it is okay to agree to disagree. Um, and it's your communication of that that's the important thing. Um, where there's not condemnation of the other one because they don't see things the way you do. Um, so there are some important issues like um, couples who, where one wants to have a child and the other one saying, no, I don't want children. Well, look, fundamentally, a lot of these kind of deal-breaking uh, disagreements are about conversations that people needed to have had before they got into a long-term permanent relationship with each other. If you're having those kind of arguments about, you know, do we have a family or do we not have a family? If you're not in um, a, a long-term married committed relationship, then maybe you need to decide not to continue with that relationship because, you know, it, it, you're into a, a, 
a win-lose situation. No matter what way you go, there's going to be a loser somewhere. Um, good communication is about aiming for a win-win solution. And um, those kind of deal-breaking conversations, you, probably the best thing to do is to have a listening check conversation about it. And then, you know, agree to disagree if one of you is saying, well, I want to start a family, I do want to have children, I know that, and I'm not going to feel any differently about that. And the other one saying, well, I know I definitely don't want to have children, and I know I'm not going to feel any differently about that. Well, then, you know, it's, a, it's a, an impasse. So the best way forward, if you do feel that you love each other and you don't want the relationship to end, then you both have to accept that you disagree. Uh, you may decide uh, that it's worth giving the relationship another six months or, or 12 months and that you'll have a further discussion about it and you'll review the situation Whatever it is, whatever the impasse is about, whether it's having children or whether it's about uh, money matters or whether it's about somebody's behaviour, um, maybe maybe drinking too much, maybe spending too much. If there is a, a real issue that you can't reach agreement on, then it's okay to say, right, well, if we can't reach agreement on that, we're going to leave that there, we'll get on with life and we'll, you know, um, be open to changing our mind or changing our point of view. Uh, and we will uh, talk about this again in six months and review it and see, see where you are. If it's a case of the situation is intolerable, then at that point, you can decide, well, let's call it a day. Um, we've done our best. And, you know, if, if it's not tolerable, um, you know, people, if they spend years in a relationship, perhaps um, not having a family, uh, which is a lifetime thing, it affects your life, and they really want to, it's, it's probably a good idea to decide to walk away. So what I'm saying here in terms of communication, not all uh, good communication actually it works to change uh, somebody's mind on something. And look, one of the things is we need to not be trying to change each other's mind. Um, Gandhi said, the imposition of one's will upon another is an act of violence. And it is actually to go on and on and on at somebody to change their mind. Sometimes, sadly, we just have to accept that we're not going to reach agreement. Some things you can carry on and live with and some things you can't. But I hope um, that um, you've enjoyed this series. I hope that you've found it helpful and useful. And I hope to see you as a member in the membership site where you will learn all those lessons that they didn't teach at school. So I'll leave some comments below and let me know how did, um, how did you find this? Was it helpful or not helpful? Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click like. So bye for now.